This is the Chief and Sean Show, and we are live in the 405. We're not live, but we are back. We're live. No, we're not. We are back. And we're live. Weekly, not live. We're sort of live. Okay, to uh, everyone listening, or, well. The well, f- the, the people who are listening. The few the that few. listen. Here's the deal. <laughs> Speed Society is going to be hosting all of these podcasts. You're going to be seeing a ton from these guys. I've, like, they're yeah. how big are they, Sean? Uh, it's the biggest automotive website in the world, and I mean, they got a lot of cool shit. Yeah, we're stoked to be working with guys like that for sure. Anytime we can align ourselves with other huge automotive people, this is perfect. So, also, stop listening now and go and like it and comment on it. And the sooner you do that, hopefully, the more podcast episodes you'll hear yeah go ahead yeah the crow 405 murder nova midway street cars like it comment on us tell us who you are tell us why you listen to it keep this going please there are people that are, don't want this to keep yeah, there's going people right now trying to make trying to put an end to this they, they so, don't want us on the air and we got guys like speed society that want to help us keep it going so welcoming us let's do it rock and roll help everybody out and while you're there check it out their website's awesome welcome everyone we are back Again this week, yeah, for a very, very, very special episode of the Chief and Sean Show. We're here in the Meth Shack, and today is going to be all about the world famous Grudge. Well, let, let's even start before then. Street slash Grudge slash No Prep Superstar Birdman. We have two of them here though there's the, so this is so bird men bird men here we have we have we have two of the guys here that uh, own it, own the car and drive the car they're here with us in the mess shack and we are going to go over all the hot topics right now because these guys are electric huge right now I mean, they are all over social media these guys have made a fucking instant name for themselves in the no prep world we we all known them before that yes for but, a very very long time we followed but, these guys but now they showed up in the no prep game and have just been like dunking it on turning these, it out just dunking it on people so introduce yourselves who are you because you have to imagine here that our tens of listeners are in their mom's <laughs> basement somewhere right now and they may have never heard of well, the Birdman now. You know, yeah. Birdman, Birdman, the car, the racing. Just uh, introduce, who are you? Uh, what do you do on the car? And then, or, or how are you a part of the car, each of you? And then uh, and then let's, let's start who getting into, uh, yeah, let's start getting into, you know, how this came about. How, how did this whole deal happen? Here? Who is Birdman? Who is the Birdman? I'm Birdman. I started back with a street car. I uh, named the car One Bad Bird, and so everybody started calling me Birdman. Uh, Jamie's been a friend of mine my, pretty much my whole life. He used to tune on the car, and we decided to come back out, and he wanted to drive. So we bought this car, and at first I bought the car. Jamie was uh, driving the car, and now he's actually bought out half of it. We're partners in it, and nice. going for bigger things. Okay, so you're and you're you're the you're the OG Birdman, and that's because you had a Firebird, right? Correct. You were you had you were a Firebird type guy. Big Trans Am guy. The Trans, okay, cool. And then you are Jamie. Jamie, okay. And you're the driver of the car, half owner and driver, right? Right. right. And uh, and you guys, obviously, you're a, you're a small uh, small racing team in the bigger picture. So you guys still work on the car. You're still, you know, you, you guys still turn wrenches on the car. You're still setting the car up and hauling it and the whole deal. This isn't some big ridiculous racing team with a semi truck and sponsors everywhere. Like this is a legit. In your own garage, building a, a fucking weapon of mass no prep mis- destruction right now. <clears throat> Correct. We everything's done on the car in my garage. We don't uh, send it out. Jamie and a couple of friends. I mean, there's like five of us total. And right on. And the the car that that we followed for years was uh, you when you guys were, you know, huge in the grocery. And that car was the Camaro with the flame job on it. Correct. And that was the the what year was that car? 80 something 88 right? 88 looking car okay and that was a back, true back yeah. half car true back half that had front 2900 pound car 2900 true back half car that was in in the in the world of racing uh one of if not the fastest back half cars yeah in, in the game right probably I mean, probably the fastest yeah. definitely in the top three yeah. Def, yeah, yeah oh yeah for sure for sure and uh 
but before before even the Camaro, and now obviously you have a new car, and we're going to touch on that too. But before even the Camaro, I mean, I used to uh, when I was you know freaking I don't know, <laughs> fourteen I was young. Uh, I used to we used to all go over to, to Dave's house and everybody's houses that, and they'd have AOL or internet so access. One person that had internet. Yeah, and library. Yeah, we'd all know, whatever. we'd all stand around the same computer and there was a website back then. And, and people don't know this that that aren't in the game or from the game or, or have been in it as long as guys like you know these guys are or even us who we're fairly new in the street racing game compared to guys like you guys but in the back then there was a website that that really started this giant street racing really fast cars because everybody had street raced you know pickups and and, and whatever their parents yeah, whatever they had. handed them down but man there, there was a website called RankinRoad.com, and that website, that that literally turned us on to the fact that there were guys who took real race cars that they drove around, but they they these cars had slicks and big motors and nitrous and blowers, and and they would race on the street in Houston back then, and that was like the game changer. That was the the mecca back then was the Houston street scene. That's where you know. A lot of people say that this stuff comes from California, and, and some of it did originally. You know, the, the, the whole automotive street racing thing may have come from there or from movies like Grease or whatever. But, man, for guys like me, the things we do now came from RankinRoad.com. That, that taught us a different way of street racing. You know what I mean? That was the, man, that, that was crazy. And, and you guys were a part of that movement back then. You guys were a big deal on Rankin Road and back then, right? Correct. There was a... Uh it was actually another website. It was Hot Rod Gossip that had a top ten list. Oh yeah, I remember Hot Rod Street Kings. We were number one on that list from the time it started for a little over two years, and kind of same thing happened. So we had a thirty five hundred pound back half street legal street driven car. Was that the red one? Yes, the red part. Red T top Trans Am called the One Bad Bird. Yeah, and Hot Rod uh, Gossip. That's Joe Gold. Joe, Gold. Joe Golden's deal, and, right? And then RankinRoad dot com started doing the filming for it. And then he started his own website posting it. Uh, they said we held on to the number one spot for two years, we're undefeated, until uh, same thing happened. They started bringing out lightweight, lighter cars, yep. and then we finally lost it to a evolution, you know, a love truck, two chassis car. And, uh, so you, so, so you were number one with a real street type car, real steel car from Detroit, and and a back half car, and and you guys were were kicking ass that car, and that's what the scene was. And then all of a sudden, they start to realize that. They could bring out a lighter weight car and and run with your car. You had so much work and time and money into to be fast. They could bring out a lighter car and not have to work as hard to run with you or outrun you. And so you you watched that happen. I mean, how many years ago was that? It was ninety nine, two thousand. Because there and then the same thing happened. It started on the street, and then it got so big. Promoters started getting it. Moved to the track. Uh, we raced. Started racing a lot. They had the Street King and. They was calling them meltdowns. I believe they had them for years. So you yeah. saw this. You saw the same thing that same. we're seeing now. This, I mean, history has a way of repeating itself. Yeah. But you saw even back then in that giant street scene in Houston and, and the the big the big street races. And I mean, you guys would hold races out there. Some of those races would last two days. You know what I mean? Like you guys would race out there for two straight days, and the cops were just. They were either okay <laughs> with it, it or they didn't want to, to fuck with, with even trying to shut it down. There was just too many people there. So, But even back then, you watched it happen. No, the we did our share of running from the cops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'd oh. like to send a ranking one night, and we sit there for about five hours. They, they made us sit there all night. <laughs> uh, we've been there. Wasting your time. Yeah. We've been there. They like to do that, for yeah. sure. But So you even saw it, you saw it go back then. So your street scene was huge, and then... The cars got lighter and they got faster, and then the cops got involved, and then you kind of, you kind of went through all of that evolution before, on the street, and then, the, but the so the last what ten years, fifteen years, you've been uh, mainly just grudge racing at the track, or did you do any class racing? Uh, we run, we did some of the pinks all out. We did uh, mostly all just grudge racing. Some back half shootouts. And, uh, we did a few back half shootouts. Until we stepped up, and then we got banned for back half shootouts in a true back half car. How how did, how did that? Wait, <laughs> twin how turbo. you ban yeah, the back turbo? Oh, they banned the twin turbo. Uh, I've, been, I've seen that happen. Yeah. They, they banned they us, but then turned around and let another twin turbo car in. 
Yeah. Oh, and they well, started yeah. a new class. You got local Extreme. Yeah. Uh, extreme <laughs> back half. And oh, I think that's why they coined the term because of us. They they call us extreme back half. Yeah. Extreme back half because because you're yeah. faster. So the we were so we were too fast. You're right. too, too fast to be a back half. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't ask what, what's the rule? What rule? Yeah, are you well, make? yeah. Where is there's the no rule. rule? Birdman's too fucking fast. That's yeah, the that's the only rule. <laughs> rule. That's yeah, the we, only rule. We call that getting local by the homies. That's yeah. what, that's what we call because we've been out of town before and that's happened to us too. We've you know we've uh, we've seen that happen. They Sean when he was kicking all that ass with his car and cash days and no preps and back in the day. They uh, they outlawed the tube chassis, you know, because his was considered a tube chassis. It, was, it had a strut front end. It had a strut front end, so they back they, they outlawed tube chassis. But yet, they would let in some tube chassis cars, but not Sean's. Yeah. You know, because Sean's didn't. And then they said, well, Sean's just you know it's got too much power, too big a tire, blah blah blah. So you know we kind of we kind of have seen that too, where that happens, and it's frustrating, man, when you have a car that you work hard on to be the fastest by the rules. Yeah. And then they still don't want you to play. We fought that. Like I said, our old racing yeah. career, we would, everywhere we go, it would start out good, and then they start telling us we're too fast to kill the class. But to us, that's the point of racing. You know, we want the fastest guy. Well, yeah. You're not going to you're not gonna be out in the, in the garage working, you know, putting time in on the car, putting better parts on it, and using your knowledge to make it go faster. And then be like, whoa, whoa, that's enough, guys. Right. We don't want to go too fast. We don't want to work that We hard. don't want to work out here the rest of tonight because then we may work ourselves out of a race. Yeah, so, so you guys saw that happen, and you've seen the evolution. I mean, you guys have been doing this long enough with, with, with the big turbo stuff and, and dealing with that. I mean, how long have you guys been campaigning a, a twin turbo car in the, in the grudge game? Three years. Three years. With nitrous until the end. But even at the end with our nitrous car, we started having to race turbo cars. So we went <laughs> turbo. They were getting fast. <laughs> they were yeah. getting power. I couldn't keep yeah. up. And I had a 598, 3,000 pound car uh, on two kits. And they started bringing two chassis. I mean, one from down, JoJo, twin turbo. JoJo. Uh, wow. Two chassis, wow. big tire Camaro against my small tire. So I talked to guys in. We switched to turbo. And then all of a sudden, turbos ain't allowed. Yeah, and we've yeah. actually been told that grudge racing is no turbo. So you yeah, know they 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 told us that too. They they've actually yes. told us that uh, we may as well not even want to go grudge racing because there's not they're not going to allow turbos really. No, you're not going to get a race if you have a twin turbo car because right. in the grudge game. So so whenever you got beat by a turbo car. And, and well, I mean, when you said he called me out, we what, come back. And, yeah, but I mean, like originally, whenever you were saying that your 598 wasn't doing the job anymore, like you wanted to, or it was, it was you were seeing that it was going, and the twin turbo guys were getting faster, and you saw that happen. Instead of you crying and wanting them to ban the turbos, you just changed your car to make it competitive, and then they banned you. Yeah. <laughs> we, first with a single turbo, and uh, went as far as we could with that, and we had. Stock suspension, 68 Camaro, on 460s. Damn. Uh, and got where we couldn't get it, so we bought Todd Moyer's old car. Our car is not a big money car like everybody thinks it is. It's all used stuff. We take other people's wore out stuff and do more with it. Thank God for Todd Moyer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah everything we got is yeah. <laughs> got his used motor, his used car. So, yeah. yeah. Well, except the new one now. Yeah, so, I've, I, I actually I met him before, and, uh, and I will say, man, he's... He's one of the nicest guys uh, that that you can meet in drag racing. He's he's really he's really down to earth. You know he's really he's really decent guy anyway. I don't know him other than just meeting him at Tulsa every once in a while as an outlaw yeah. five stuff. But but he seemed really good. He's always had really nice stuff. Good God yeah. Almighty! So when he throws it away, we're there. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Pick it up. Yeah. 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 Away. What, 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 what else you got? Yeah. What else you got? <laughs> I mean, our new car. We was over at his shop looking for parts. Got the, <laughs> the headers and a few others. Uh, and okay, so. So you you did some of the back half shootouts and you did some of the stuff and then they started outlawing you and so then what you just said I'm not gonna fucking with rules anymore you're going grudge racing right because that's that's where we know you from we yeah, know you yeah, from yeah. we've been like I said we've been grudge racing a long time but uh, it just got to the point where there's just a couple of cars that'll run us and, in the grudge game in the grudge game yeah and they, and they and weren't back the cars same either, were car they? over and over well, a couple of them were you had Hyde the Shadow. Uh, but other than that, yeah, we were running against pro mods, still yeah. with our back half. But even with pro mods, most of them wanting, just getting the brake, the clear, you know, just, 
yeah. or punk out on us. So with two, just chassis, got real, with two chassis cars. Yeah. They, they even just, the two chassis guys didn't want to fuck yeah. with you. So it just got where it wasn't fun to us, and we got called out by a couple of no prep guys saying that there's no way we could go on the street. So we went to the street, went to the no prep, and that's where we are. Yeah, and and uh, I must say that you're 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 really really kicking ass in the no prep stuff. I mean, we're we watched you. You know, we heard about you coming out, and they said, "Oh, uh, Birdman's gonna go to the no prep in Armor Amarillo or whatever." Birdman's gonna he's gonna no prep, and and we were just like, "Whoa!" Like that's a yeah, that's a serious car to be risking at a no prep. You know what I mean? Like we've been doing no preps long enough that you know that no prep stuff is uh, it's it's scary. They tear up a lot of cars out there. It's just like you know, it's a, it's a lot like the street. It's, sometimes it's worse than the street. You know, the big end can be worse than the street. It's slipperier than yeah. the street. So as a driver. Like going from the grudge tracks, because some of the grudge tracks that you guys raced at <laughs> were pretty shitty. They were yeah. pretty shitty yeah. anyway. So <laughs> as a driver to race in all these shitty grudge tracks everywhere and all the shit that you've had to deal with with people trying to fuck with you on the starting line and all that other stuff, like what is the biggest difference? And because a lot of people don't understand the no prep stuff, so like, what's the biggest difference that you've noticed going from the grudge scene? To the uh, to the no prep stuff. What's the what's the biggest hurdle, or what's the difference as a driver that you're you're having to face out there at the no preps that you weren't weren't actually didn't think was going to be that way or whatever? Well, the obvious. Yeah, I'm driving the car is totally different on a prep track versus a no prep. Plain yeah. and simple. I hell, I tagged the ball in one of my first no prep races. I I had this way of. When I when I lose when it starts to spin a little bit, you can just give a little pedal on the on the prep track and it'll it'll hook back up. Yeah. Don't do that on no prep. I well, mean, you guys know. If that. you do it fast enough, your wheels are still spinning from right. the reason that you pedaled it. Right. Right. It, it it tends to break loose pretty hard. When you have that kind of power, you whack it. it yeah. It upsets the car, and, and there you go. Now, what kind of power? I mean, because we we've touched on a little bit. Of your your Camaro Dale had the it had a twin turbo. Uh, what kind of power? Do you estimate that car was? I mean, that deal that you're driving. What kind of power are we talking about to the to the people that are trying to understand what I'm what I'm talking about? As you as a driver having you know giant you know stainless steel balls here, like <laughs> how much power are you are you wheeling? They we don't really know, and I, and I don't think anybody can they can't judge it. But somewhere between thirty five hundred and four thousand, somewhere in there. On a no prep track, we're talking close to. I mean. Could be close to four thousand horsepower yeah. in a back half car. Well, and and at these no prep races, I mean that's yeah. you know we can't use all of it obviously. Back. Yeah, you know, we have to back it down, but yeah. It's now there. you're it, you're kind of a calm, cool guy. You know what I mean? You you can't. I mean, he you know uh, Birdman over here. He he seems like the shit talker. He can get riled <laughs> yeah. up. I yeah. can see yeah. him getting riled up real quick. But you seem pretty cool, calm, and collected. Huh. Like. Is it is it fun for you at the no preps? Is it I mean is it is it get your hair up? Do you what like after a pass where like your last one here at Redemption? I mean you won what was that fifteen twenty thousand dollars right? Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. That's almost as much as I won at Armageddon. <laughs> 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 no, sorry. You had the ten, <laughs> you had the ten that we got at Armageddon. Uh, yeah, uh, but so, but yeah. we got. Our fifteen out running Kyle Kelly. That's so. true. That's true. I, I didn't get the opportunity. I had to outrun John Doe, who out who, who outran so Kyle Kelly. I got to we'll do racing math. We'll, we'll I, get him next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but but as a driver, I mean, I, when you get out of a car with four thousand horsepower and you're sliding sideways to the finish line, you know, backing on and off the gas to to get there before the other guy. I mean, are you are you glad it's over? Or are you like fuck it, yeah, that was fucking badass? Or I mean, what do you? What, what's it like in there? Because I mean, you, it doesn't. I don't know that anything can get you stirred up. I don't know. What's he's smiling like? about it. Yeah. He's, he, he's got it. The look on his face right now is <laughs> she enjoys I it. it. I live for it, dude. Right Come on. on. Right I on. mean, I, the prep track is badass. The power, the pull, the mile per hour is awesome on a on a prep track. But having to drive the car in a big end and no prep, I gotta say, is fun. It's, I just it's, I hope everybody that does it be careful. Yeah. You know, it is it is dangerous, but it. Hey, that's what it's all about. Is you definitely things. can't be somebody yeah. new to cars or new right. to the street right. or new to anything, you know, less than a drag radio prep track and go out there and be cool on a no prep. It's, it's different. different. You can get it, in trouble real fast. It's different. And 
I think that a lot of the reason why you guys are doing so well, and I've talked about this before, is, you know, guys that come from the street game or the grudge game, you know, the, the match race stuff that we do and that you guys do, you know, we've been doing it on the street and you guys have been grudge racing for a long time. There's just something about the way that we race that we don't have qualifying rounds we don't have test sessions like everybody else you know like when we go race somewhere you know for the most part we're we get one pass one at this shot, guy you get kill. one shot yep. at this guy yeah like you said yeah one shot one kill so every race that we go to and every race that you guys go to every pass is one of the biggest craziest races because i mean you guys have raced for big money in the grudge game right i mean what's the most you guys have ever raced for in a grudge in a grudge race at the track not that big. I mean, we raced for uh, eleven thousand one time. The one in Florida was because we had heard twenty five. Yeah. You were gonna you were yeah. gonna race one guy for twenty five. We've bet. Oh, we've offered to bet a lot of times. It gets smaller, but when we count our bets at the track, like we might bet a guy fifteen grand. There's another. We don't throw in what everybody else is going to yeah, put in. Yeah. It, it could be a hundred thousand dollar race. Oh yeah, by the time we're talking about the, by the time the money gets yeah. patched in, it, it just oh, it's yeah. too hard, and you got a hundred people trying to throw in money. So we get them okay. Exactly. They're betting the same crews, right? But we're going to lock in. But I mean, there's down. a there's a good chance that you guys that well, I mean, Jamie, you're you're behind the wheel, and and you know that that you guys have ten or 15000 of your own dollars on the line. And then you also know that your crews and your fans and the guys behind you on the starting line, they've got, you know, thousands of dollars. of it. So you're behind the wheel and you're going to this tree. You know that there's a possibility there's $100,000 of you and your people's money on one pass. One fucking pass. One fuck up. Not, not like, you know, a, a, a race or a class race, which people don't, a lot of people don't understand in a class race, you have a qualifying time. So when you lay that qualifying time down, if you're the fast guy, your first round is against the slowest guy. That's the way they do the pro ladder. So in a in a in a class race, the faster guy, he usually gets a couple rounds to get his shit together. You know what I mean? So yes. you know the 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 pro ladder at a, at a class race is it's it's designed to to give the guy who qualifies the fastest a little, uh, you know, a little incentive, so so you get to race the slowest guy first round. Well, that's not what you guys do. You guys race one shot, one kill. So that hundred thousand dollars and all the bitching and screaming and complaining and arguing in the pits comes down to one hit, one pass, and that will change a driver really quick to the point where I've noticed that. The, the the owners of the cars and the crew members and the drivers, they just become a, a more collected unit because every pass they've made in the last five or ten years is the Super Bowl. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's so, the final round. Right. right. So the first round is the final round. It's going to be hard to shake a crew like yours because you match race. You don't class race. So, you, so every pass you make out there is the biggest race of your career, of your life, whatever. So, and, and you could possibly fuck up and lose a hundred thousand dollars in one deal well that's more money than most people make in a year so like that that changes a crew and that changes the way that you guys race and i can see that when you came out to the no preps because you're racing guys that are nervous you're racing car owners that are scared to death of losing a car crashing a car you're racing um you know people that really don't may not know what they're doing and may not know what they're getting into because if they came from class racing or if they came from from bracket racing or whatever and brought out a old big tire top sportsman car because it, it looks like it's fun i mean you guys are no mercy you've been there you've already been down all the big races before so this ain't nothing to you guys so i think that 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 really says a lot about grudge racers and match racers in the street race game and in the no prep game you almost kind of have a little leg up there because you're i mean you're not going to get nervous racing Kai Kelly in a final for 20 grand when you've raced, you know, Kai Kelly's your whole life for, for 20 yeah. grand, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So that, I think that definitely gives you something there, uh, in the no prep game for sure. Because, you know, we've, a lot of the guys that you're racing, they're turning their car down. They see a guy crash in front of them and they're scared, yeah, they're scared. to death and they don't want to race or they want to, they want to, you know, let off quicker. They don't want to get back in the gas. And then you got guys like you that, you know, 
you're going to get back in it four or five times, whatever you got to do to get to the finish line. You know what I mean? So that's, you know, that's it's really nice to see another group like that in this this uh, this no prep game. You know, so uh, I, I feel like you guys are are really killing it right now. You you've won in the past few months. You've won. What are you up to now? Thirty thirty five thousand dollars in no preps. Just the purses, little not counting the betting. A little over fifty. A little over fifty. <laughs> Oh yeah, because yeah. you've hit more no preps than just the, the the two big ones. You've hit some other ones there too. Yeah, so I mean, a couple here in Dallas, Five. one in uh, over by Taibano. I mean, Ebano twice, each and Pete twice. Oh wow! Now, have you guys won pretty, pretty much every? We no won prep every got one. No, except lost, two, we run it up. No, lost three. We lost the three. one where we couldn't start in the finals in yeah. in uh, Edinburgh. Lost to yeah. Edinburgh. Uh, or, where we couldn't start the call oh, yeah, in the finals yeah. against yeah, John Doe. And then we lost when, uh, well, we didn't even get to race. We went all the way to Alabama. I call the wrong. We went to Alabama and hit the wall oh. test. And stuff. That wasn't a loss. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. That was a crash. Red car. He said that was a crash. That wasn't a loss. We lost against uh, Herzog. And, That's a big uh, difference. You didn't lose to difference. nobody. What did money done come on me? Yeah, loss. I don't drive. Exactly. I, don't exactly. I can tell you the win. I can tell you the losses. Yeah, I exactly. Three, but there ain't. And there's a loss to me. You just bring me no money. Yeah, so, so, so to you, the money didn't come home. That's a loss. But to him, he's driving the car. He didn't get beat by nobody. He just crashed. That's not a loss to him. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so a lot of people probably don't realize this, but you were actually railing Dave's ass whenever Dave. Dave crashed into the wall at uh, Amarillo. That's a nice way to put that, Sean. Sorry. Yeah. But we wow. realized it. So <laughs> our fans realized. realized it. But See, you were a lot of people don't even but see a lot of people it. Because the clip is so fast, most people don't even know that that was us in other lane. Well, you guys were out on him quite a ways before he got in trouble, you know. And So, yeah, and, so uh, a lot of people don't know that. You were actually the car in the other lane when Dave crashed Goliath and, and lost that car. You guys were the yeah. ones he was racing. I, I actually yeah. crossed the center line. I took out the mile per hour cone. And yeah, the big when I got to the big end, I, I pulled off. and I'm like, where's Dave? He ain't coming. And then I saw the ambulances. And I, you know what the first thing I thought was? I thought I crossed over and he and, avoided and, me. Yeah. And oh, tagged the wall. No. I thought, Damn. oh, fuck, I crashed this guy. Yeah, oh, just crashed that is, together. I mean, that was literally one of the worst crashes I've ever seen. Yeah, I was yeah. standing on the fence right in front of me. Man, it was I so I hit the ground when that nitrous bottle came out the car. I, mean, I thought it was coming <laughs> oh, straight God. at me because we were standing right there. Now, does does that, Jamie, does that phase you as a driver at all? I mean, does that does that change what you what you what how you think about your next pass or how you think about no preps when you see something like that happen? I mean. Not, not in a, no. Not in a, a mental are you scared sense. No, racing happens. I know what's going to happen if we crash, so it doesn't doesn't affect me. Just the fact that I that I crossed the center line changed my game for no prep. But oh, I see. Okay, so you weren't. So once you find out that you didn't cause the accident, or you were no, you mean by, he was already crashed by the time you crossed center. Once you figured yeah. that out, all you were concerned with is not crossing center the next right. one. Right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. so. That's on, that's the thing I'm talking yeah, about. That's, that's the balls of steel, yeah. you know. That's yeah. the that's the match game grud race thing that that changes the driver to to where, you know, if you were to drive a pro car and you were to be the owner of a pro car, so so if this Birdman team had a had a, a, a top fuel car out there, I mean, you would you would be one of the teams that just doesn't get nervous. You just there no one could phase you because every race is a match race for you. You know what I mean? Right. So. So these guys, you don't get a first round layup in the PDRA or nothing like that. I mean, you're you're every round. That's that's what that's fucking cool. And I think that we need more drivers like that. We need more people that know the grudge game or the street game or the no prep game because because that's gonna that makes for a lot better racing when you have guys like that that can bang it out out there and you know and know that you're gonna push it as hard as you can to the finish line. You know that gives that and that gives a hell of a show for people to watch. And I will say, you know, Jamie, I think he gets calmer as he pulls up to the line. I've never he seen him. He gets calmer this? He, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, called dead. I think yeah, he has a word. Yeah, he I go to the coma. Uh, and <laughs> deadly on the tree, I couldn't ask somebody better yeah. to drive the car. I mean, he really right does his job. So. Yeah, and I've seen videos of you guys at some of these little outlaw tracks, these road races, and I mean, there's, there's 
fifteen hundred people standing around your car, you know, betting money on your car. Some of these guys are scary looking dudes. You know what I mean? To to you know, people watch these videos, and if they've never been to these dredge races, and they've never been to the to these parts of the country where this stuff happens, like. Yeah, this is a scary looking group of people and they're putting money on you at the starting line. You fuck yeah. this deal up, like that's that's a that's a lot, you know what I mean? So Yeah, that you took away all their money. Yeah. Is so what you did. Did. Or if you is, fuck is up. sometimes we don't even know we got to make a test and this is actually happened. We're making a test hit and another car jumps another lane. We're making a test hit and they run down to like to the three thirty. And that's the way come up to the trailer. I lost two thousand dollars. <laughs> it wasn't even a race. On a test hit. Yeah. Uh, yeah matter of uh, fact, when we were when we raced Bumblebee, uh, we didn't race it. We weren't even racing. We were on a test pass. We were on a test pass. And it's a deal that <laughs> you didn't get mad. That wasn't a loss. That wasn't a loss. <laughs> that wasn't a loss. <laughs> 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 that was a. I know I lost. We were making a test pass. pass. <laughs> this guy wanted to tell me, said, "Hey, I want to go down beside y'all," and. There was a <laughs> shitload of money bet on that race. Everybody was betting on it. And you were just oh, testing. Wow. It was just a test hit. Ah, that man, sucks. that's that's crazy, man. That's a that's the kind of stuff that you know. We've been to some of the grudge races. I mean, I remember when me and Sean uh, we went to our first our first real grudge race uh, down in Texas, and uh, I mean, we weren't ready. We weren't prepared. No, I mean, we no. we came from the street racing around here, where everybody's trying to find out who's the fastest. You know what I mean? Like we we really wanted to know like who's the fastest. So you go to the, the to the grudge races down there, and n most of those guys ain't worried about who's the fastest. They're worried about who's gonna get the money out of your pocket. You yeah. know what I mean? So they're about that hustle. So they had us so so running in circles. We didn't know what the fuck they was talking about, and we lost a lot of money. And that first yeah. night, they they stripped our ass. We we went home <laughs> naked, you know. Yeah. And but we learned more of the game. But I mean, God, dude, there's got to be. You guys have to know every stipulation of every race, you know, and, and because you could fuck up and lose twenty grand on one little bitty stip. That's graduation. And, it's and, that's, overwhelming with, and with it skips. used to not be that way. That's what kind of got us being away from the grudge scene. Is you damn near have to have a lawyer to figure out the rules <laughs> of the race. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there are stipulations yeah. of everything, and now even to what time you got to do it, everything. Yeah, I've done. So, I mean, it's just—it's uh, gotten crazy. Now, I've been uh, keeping up with some of the the Facebook pages yeah. and the Grudge Racing Facebook pages because I do I do have a a, a big time passion for Grudge. I think Grudge Racing is one of the coolest things that, that could ever happen to drag racing. Now it's gotten muddy here lately with the promoters and the money and the different things happening, and and it's gotten you know the class racers or. Are, are trying to uh, they're trying to, to pick on some of the guys and, and you're getting and you get some big money teams that are wanting to you know pick on the lower money teams in grudge racing and, and so it's gotten kind of muddy lately but man some of those uh, arguments and some of the language and the stiffs and the talk that they use like I'm I'm watching this going man I don't even know what he's what happened yeah. so like but you watch the race you go oh, well he won no he didn't well what do you mean he didn't well there's 15 different reasons how he lost and right. and you have to know each one of those reasons or or you know you, you yeah. lose your money and I, it's just it's scary to, to me to even think about trying to take my car somewhere and race for a big big amount of money yeah. and then as a driver and a, and a and a team owner or a car owner or a or a, a crew member you have to worry about all those little bitty things to make sure that you get paid. That's just, man, that's a, I could see that being a headache. I could see that being something that you may want to, to try other things because eventually how the fuck are you getting paid? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, right. Well, it's tough to even be in the crowd and, and get a bet and, and you're not even involved in it. You're just betting with some other dude, you know, and, right. and, and he's got steps too. You yeah. Know? Oh, I mean, yeah. So uh, even at this last race, or yeah. we, we saw one where they're, between us and Kyle, where some people are arguing on the internet, because their stipulation was if either one crossed, it was no bet. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, like, oh, yeah, I, mean, I mean, there there'll be people who who just walk up to you and go, "Who do you like on this?" You know, and if you say who you like, that's your bet. You may you may have you just you, you bet just either. entered a bet. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, all you do is I like this lane. Yeah, you hey, know? those guys. That don't matter. That's a bet. Right there. There. Yeah, I was down there uh, and. It was my first grudge race that I was involved in. We had been and watched a bunch of them, but I was in the El I was driving my El Camino at the time that the Kamikaze now owns and drives. And the guy 
I was looking for a race, and the guy said, he said, well, let, let me hit. And I was like, let you what? He said, let me hit. And I was like, he wants to hear it? I don't understand. Why does he want to hear it? You know, so I was like, yeah, sure, you can hear it, whatever. And he was like, all right, well, we go up there and the light goes green, and I left, and I lost the money because he, yeah. he was supposed to leave first, and I didn't even understand what he was yeah. talking about. <laughs> yeah. So we were yeah, like, we smoothed it. He didn't even leave. So we didn't get to see what his car got had no. or anything. So, <laughs> so he's back there wanting to run it back. And we done lost, what, 2500 bucks, 3000 something like that on that race. So then and we bet again. The car didn't even leave for us to see what it had. So we bet again on a heads-up race. And come to find out that, you know, he had a lot more than we did. <laughs> and, uh, so, and he railed our ass. Yeah, he, I think he, he threw all the gas on us at the finish line. For like another three grand or and, something. Yeah, and so we were just, uh, we, we went home, we were just confused, really. And yeah. a, a few weeks later, we put it together on what may have happened. And yeah. we said, well, that's... Uh, that's unfortunate. We didn't. Yeah. You know, we yeah, just we paid got our cheated. We paid our tuition. <laughs> <laughs> well, we paid our tuition, and so the next time, we went, of it too. yeah, we, yeah. The next time we went down there, we did a little better. But yeah, that's uh, it's a it's a wild, fun game for sure at the grade races. But it's also can get really expensive. Now, the no prep stuff, the the payouts are getting huge. The energy's getting just electric. The crowds are just, I mean flooding to the track to see you guys race and you're becoming this giant force of in no prep that I mean you know if you look on Facebook right now and especially I mean this is days after the race I mean you won you won a race Saturday for uh, for a bunch of money at, at a big Texas no prep an original no prep track Kennedale she's been doing no preps for like 40 years now so yeah. and you went down there and and you won uh, won a bunch of money and it's just been non-stop bird man on the internet since then I mean this is a big deal I'm not even sure you guys realize how how big you are right now I mean this is everybody knows who Birdman is my five-year-old son knows who Birdman is because of this this you know no prep assault that you've been on right now I mean you're just you're you're really really Killing. kicking a lot of ass and you're going all over and and you're uh, you're playing by their rules, and you know you're doing your thing. Now, you have a new car. This was the first race with this new car. This new car is a Firebird, and there have been rumors that it's what fourteen hundred pounds. Yeah, now or something. yeah. I mean, every day it gets <laughs> and everybody, like, I saw the scales. No, everybody said I saw the scales. Everybody saw the scales. Oh, and, and and in the final against Kai, you went, you, you raced Kai Kelly in the final. My nemesis there. You raced him in the final, beat him, and I mean, you know, but, I heard but, you. But went, he went a four zero at two hundred. One ninety eight. Come on. Sorry. Yeah, I sorry. One ninety eight. One ninety eight is what you went in the final. Now, I mean, these these rumors are are just they're getting bigger and bigger because yeah. of your your uh kicking so much ass right now so this this thing's getting bigger than i even think you're aware of now why why did you go to the new car if the old car was kicking so much ass i mean why why switch to the new car what what's the what's the thought process there because your old car was the back half camaro the true back half car twin turbo deal and it used to be black with flames, and then last yeah. time I seen it, it was like fourteen different colors. Yeah, and welcome then, to no prep. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, it's and just then, love taps. <laughs> that's how we feel. Scrubbing off a little mile an hour there. One ninety eight is too much. Let's yeah, that's tuition. Yeah. yeah, tuition. Hey, tuition. See, yeah. so you know what I'm saying. So now, so wait a minute. You said that was no prep. You crashed that Camaro in during no preps. Yeah. You oh so you came out with that car from the garage scene jumped into no preps and you actually mm -hmm. twisted it too hard mm -hmm. and came back. Oh yeah, changed, changed my style of driving, period. I, I drive a grudge car pretty hard. If it, it, it can go to the <laughs> other end, it's going. Yeah, you're going to force it down through <laughs> there. It's going to go. Yeah. And I try to do that same shit in no prep and you can't do that. It's, it's a little different. It's a little different. The little surface different. ain't there at four or five. Yeah. And even, even the way you pedal, you know, is totally different. For sure. So even if and even if you get through the finish line, it gets worse even after the finish line. When so you, you shut down, down and just, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> how? At what point in the past did you hit the wall? Right at the finish, right crossing the finish line. Oh really? I broke the tires loose at 500 feet. Oh my and god! And I thought, 
I mean, it just spun, it was starting to spin, so I thought it's not going to make it. I'm so it spun pretty good because he's doing this like the ass end one up. Yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah. Those he's, can't he's, see, he's setting up a machine. 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 He's setting up we broke you it. broke the record. We've done that two different times. Wait, on the pass that you crashed? Yes. So you crashed. Wait, hang on. Oh, God, <laughs> yes. Hang on here. Now this, this is, this is. Uh, you yeah. can't make this shit up. See, so, see so, I told him we was gonna be in here way too long. We have to. We're such big fans of his that we have all of our own questions that we want to so ask. So, you, you're at a no prep. They tell you that it's sketchy. You're you're pedaling at the pass before. They tell you that you're that they knew what ET you ran. They didn't post it on the clocks. Obviously, right, the right. track tower knows what you ran, and they said that you were really close to breaking the track two record. Hundreds, two hundredths off of the track. Two hundredths off the track right, record. But what was, was the track record? What, what yeah. was the track record? <laughs> what was the track record? What was the track record? Oh, nice try, Sean. Oh, yeah. nice try. Oh, yeah. nice try. I was just kind of wondering what yeah. what's the track record now. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, son. That's fucking yeah. decent. Good job, buddy. But you notice, Jamie here, he almost wanted to say yeah, that. I, I feel like, hey, I can Bird pull him man. after the podcast, I can pull him to the side. I think he's going to tell me. <laughs> hey, it's usually that. me. I always want to turn the clock, so and he's like, no, we're not. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's, it's a 500 foot track. Yeah. It's a short track. So the, It's a short track? Yeah. It literally was. A, a crop dust and landing field or something, strip or something. You I took a 4,000 horsepower back half cart to a landing field that, yeah. that was short at a no prep. And then, nice. so they and told they, you, so the track record was set at a prepped event. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then by you're, Reaper. By no, 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 that wasn't Reaper there. No, so and then there's another one we took it from uh, Reaper, put up a bounty. A one, yeah, another that was an Amarillo. That's an Amarillo. Yeah, oh, we took that one too. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then you, they tell you you're 200 off, the pass before was sketchy and scary, they tell you 200 off, you come back up for the next round, and you're not only trying to win the no prep, you're trying to win the money, you're, you're trying to, uh, to drive the best you can, but you're also thinking in your head that you're going to push this I motherfucker as hard as you can uh, to get this track record. So at a no prep, so yeah. you, the car gets loose at 500, but you hit the wall, but you still got the track record on a no prep track. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking right, dude. Yeah, how, fucking bad, how bad was it? Just, just the bad. nose? No, I got the, got the side. I, I, I rubbed the wall. Oh. I didn't. I that's didn't not even really it. a crash. I, well. Yeah, it shot <laughs> off and went through the field. It yeah. the ditch and through stars. Oh, okay, so it was a crash. Yeah. I couldn't get to the parachute, so you know how it is when you're <laughs> all yeah. over the place. So went off, off I had, road. To, had to go off road. So after you hit the wall, then you went into the field and went through a ditch. Okay, we were, we were, Ended we had a spoon getting dirt out of the turbos, if that tells you. <laughs> oh, wow. But you got that track record. Yeah, yeah we got yeah. it. Yeah. Was it worth it? No. <laughs> he said no. He yeah, said yeah. Said, yeah. <laughs> no. I, because I, that, that was dumb. Hey, we got a new car. That was, that was, that was dumb. Right. I'm like, it's driving too hard on no prep. Y'all don't do that shit at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the no prep stuff is, is tricky. It really is. A, I've never uh, experienced a uh, uh, as much inconsistency as I do at no preps. You know, because the, the starting line can get, there's so much rubber there, it can get really, really good, and you can really... It's deceiving. It, it, yes. can, it can throw you off because you can think, hey, I'm taking a lay down a pass here. And, <laughs> yep. then, and then you get out there and man, just all of a sudden the rug gets pulled out from underneath you. So you have to be ready for that. That's, that is uh, that is no prep. That's what and that's what no prep is. So uh, but so even after you crash car, go through the ditch, you do all that shit, you're, you're still not even considering that this no prep thing isn't for you. No, no. Just drive carefully. It takes takes different driving. Don't don't do stupid shit. Yeah. So. So you change your driving style, mm -hmm. and you're and you're you're, you're you go back to the no preps. And now, what was the reason for going to this ridiculously sinister, dark, mean looking fucking Firebird? Because I've seen pictures of this Firebird, and that is one scary looking car. This thing is, it's a, uh, it's it's mean. It's mean looking. It it looks like it's it means fucking business. Well, we heard this other guy bought a Pro Mod. And <laughs> uh, take, but but take, it, take it over the world. So. It's it's like, it's like, it's but his initials are like, Justin Shear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I gotta watch this shit. So we're okay, ready. okay.
So yeah, I mean that's uh, we 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 can both see where it's heading. You know, I mean these guys keep coming out with lighter cars. And we bought and this car eight months ago. We knew where it was going. We've just been yeah. kind of. You were already on your way there, yeah, because you're fighting the same oh, thing. I half the cars that are in, you know, the, the yeah. faster and open are already two chassis. All these yeah. vets out there, you know, Kai, a lot of John cars two chassis. They're, they're all worse they're than all a three thousand pound car. So. Right, and, and, and in those heavy back half cars with twin turbos, because that's exactly what I, I had too, you know, mine wasn't uh, wasn't quite a big a motor and stuff, but I mean, my front weight was so overwhelming that I it was hard to make up the weight difference with horsepower because all of my weight was on the front half of the car, and so I'm sure you, you were you were kind of in the same boat there, and so the new chassis that you have is... is uh, is is much better for for what you're doing. I can only imagine how much how much better it is. But what is the new chassis? What is what is it? Is it it's a, so it's a Firebird. It's a newer it's, model, fourth gen Firebird. Yeah, it's a it's an old top sportsman car. It's a hundred hundred four inch wheelbase. It's a nice little chassis car. It's a Haas, Haas built the car. Oh, it's a it's a. <laughs> it's a it's a Hoss car. Okay, that's a real deal it car is, there, it, that, 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 that's that a was huge. Pro mod. You didn't buy it. Yeah. The, it's a promo. Yeah, you can call it pro mod, slow mod, whatever you want to do. You still got to get another one. <laughs> that's you know, we looked at, time we looked at the rules. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. right. And the rules it says big tires only. They did. Uh, okay. That's well, exactly everybody's right. Everybody's doing it. But. So, how different was it? This was the first no prep that you raced that new car in. Yeah. This was the first race you've raced it, period, How different right? was it going, going from, from the other car on, on a no-prep surface, going from the other car to going to this this Pro Mod that, uh -huh. you know, it's harder to see out of, the car's lighter, it's obviously faster. Well, it's different. It's it's totally different. I I, I felt like an idiot, man. I made, made a test pass, went down through there, and was trying to pull it back to the left, and it, it was going right, and I, I, it started spinning, so I just lifted, got back, and told Chad, Chad Rogers, he helps us with the tune-up on the car. He's really good. He used to work with Todd Moyer uh, for a long time. Anyway, I'm telling him it's spinning. He's looking at the data going, it's not spinning. I said, something's happening. I'm telling you, it's spinning. I can't get the car to come back over. So he said, well, I'll pull a little power and pull a little power. We go back out. Came back, same thing. It's pulling, man. I'm telling you, it, it, it's spinning bad out there. I'm having hell. I can't control it. <laughs> then one of our guys came up and said, hey man, do you know the front tires are off the ground at 400 feet? I said, really? I didn't know that. I felt like an idiot. I kind of should have known that, you know? <laughs> no, but one thing we spinning. haven't found is it's, it's hard to uh, correct the car when the tires aren't on the ground. Yeah, it is. Big, so, uh, big ugly ass duck really put on the back. I thought. So I saw, I saw so we, we, we did see that. Uh, that we big we don't care about on the back. I saw that picture. We'll get into that. We'll get into that hideous <laughs> fucking wing. In a second here. He said we, we don't care about pretty. That's yeah, obvious. We, we, that's <laughs> fucking clear. Uh, We're now, in a car show. This this uh, this new car. Uh, most people they get they get you know most people get a new car and they switch everything over. Then they go through the testing process and the new car blues and they find out what it likes and what it wants and they they get it prepared for the race. Now, you didn't really have that option here. You put this thing together. Now the first pass on this car was where? There. At that race. The first wow. pass on the new yes. car, the first pass with you in the car, the first pass on this car, the first pass with this combination, and the first pass with this car at a no prep was all the same fucking day? Yeah. No, right. well, no, it's Friday. Just a Friday night. We got two test hits Friday night. <laughs> okay, but on this, but it's oh, still, so we're good. It's still a no. It's still a no prep. You you were so testing. Hold my beer and watch this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, I'm I'm starting to wonder about uh, some of your decisions here. That yeah. uh, that seems kind of crazy. I mean, yeah. you take worked. a brand new fucking car out there and put it on. No, it did work. Oh, you fucking ca yeah. you you cashed in on that deal for sure. That's badass. The work. I mean, obviously, all the hard work was worth it when you won. You beat some big name guys and you got all the money and you. You you won the redemption no prep. That's a big no prep to win. You know what I mean? You guys have been to this no prep in the other car too, correct? Last year, didn't you go to the same no prep or no? Yeah. How did you do it that one? We won. <laughs> we always win. Come on, yeah. Oh, this many, this many losses. <laughs> oh, man. So does it have the same, uh, you know, uh, drivetrain in it as the other car? Yeah, just take it all out. We of pulled it? motor, transmission, gear, turbos, all the electronics, fuel management. 
everything out of it. Except so you really didn't have any choice except to get this car done if you yeah. was gonna make that race. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so oh, yeah, this is all we own. It's not like you had the other car just but sitting the other there. Car's for sale. Yeah. Uh, if if someone was interested in buying that other car, what was the fastest that car went? <laughs> on a on a no, no prep, prep. So on a prep track? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not going to give us anything, Sean. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I will tell you. We can't, can't even trick these guys. Yeah. I don't care. No, you ain't. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he said no. Uh, uh, so the uh, the the one the one no prep you were you were posed poised to win. I mean, I, you were doing really well, and then the starter broke in the final round. You didn't get to race, right? And that was against John Doe, right? Okay, so that that's gotta be tough. That was bad. A stupid problem like that, right? That was terrible. Two hundred and fifty dollars for that start. Oh. Now we got a five hundred and fifty dollar one. Real bad one. And an yeah. extra one in the trailer? Yeah. 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 I've seen the trailer. That's a nice it's, piece you work it is. It is. <laughs> and I mean, we've seen all the, the memes, yeah. memes, yeah. you know. I mean of of your trailer next to Shadows yeah. stacker. Yeah, you know, you, and so that's cool boy race. Hey, you know, <laughs> that's one of the biggest grud yeah, races, counts. you know, the biggest grud races anybody ever heard of was the matchup between you and the shadow, uh, Phil Schuler's car with Stevie, Stevie fast driving it. That's, that, that's a, you know, when that was going down, I mean, everybody in the country that, that was, that knew anything about the grudge game. And even those that didn't were, were, were hollering out the window, Hey, Bergman shadow raced yet. You know what I mean? Like when's this <laughs> yeah. going to happen? You know? Yeah. So. That's a that's a big rivalry. What's the what's the problem there? Other than Stevie's an asshole, what's the issue? I don't have so much of a problem with Stevie. It's really Phil Schubert's an asshole. But yeah, I mean, we couldn't run Shadow because we broke that day. We simply broke, and we kept getting accused of lying, saying that it wasn't broke, and it was damn sure broke. I broke two rocker arms, and we couldn't get them fixed in time. And, of course, Phil Schuler with all the steps and all the bullshit and grudge racing these days, he wouldn't give us time, you know. He wouldn't give us time to fix it, so. Why? why? We had to pay the punk we out had to pay at him. 9 o'clock because that was the steal. Oh, you had to race by 9 o'clock. So they had it They had it listed out to the to the actual minute of when you had that to race. That was their ideal. Okay. Yeah. So he, we had to pay the step, and mm -hmm. then they wanted to re-bat, re-run, get the car fixed. Yeah. We just, couldn't get it fixed. Right, gotcha. Um, so that's that sucks, man. To, to lose to, to lose a, an opportunity to race like that and and to um, to have to pay up money on, on a, you know on a, on a legitimate break that sucks. And yeah. then and then not to be able to even to fix a car and, and go at them again that that does suck. What was the punk out fee on? So, so punk out means that you don't make the race by the time they allot it, and you have to pay a certain amount of money because of that. Now, what was the punk out on it's that? Thousand dollars. She had to pay a thousand dollars because of a broken locker arm, man. That's, yeah. that sucks. That's unfortunate. That really is. But that's you, you would think that somebody like him, though, wanting to outrun you so bad, you know, he came up with a little extra time. Yeah, well, he, still wanted, he still wanted to race us, but wanted, we had to pay the punk out first. Well, oh, okay. Like I said, well, that's a little big, more understandable. But then. we're not a big money team. You know, you go out and you spend, and we'd already told them, that we were booked for the no prep race the very next day. Yeah. We come for the first night, and then they wanted to push, let's race tomorrow, trying to get us not go the other race. No. I got we were you. already booked, I got and you. we went down there and won that race. Yeah, oh, well, uh, yeah. there you go. The so parts were actually Armageddon. waiting for us. Yeah, it was Armageddon. Remember? Yeah, that's right. We were all yeah, waiting in line yeah. talking about, hey, remember we were at Armageddon were actually, yelling, hey. We got the parts to fix it there. Yes. And, and they're off fixed the well, car once you got here, right? should have raced us. And then, of course, uh, Gene from Northdorf uh, thinks we should have raced with the broke motor just because he traveled for 30 minutes and watched and trashed us on social media. Uh, he, uh, oh, they, so they wanted you to race even with the hurt motor? Yeah. I got yeah. you. Yeah. Well, I, ain't I mean, that's just an Phil is a fast stuff. car. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. Phil Schumer is one of the fastest cars out there. Sure he is. And we're going to have to run our best number ever to run it. We're not going in, bro. We ain't stupid. I mean, I'm not going to run no five, ten thousand dollar race, and plus yeah. everybody else betting to pull up to that line with a car that's hurt, and you know you can't win. Yeah. Well, especially if like you're saying, if he's so fast, everybody in the stands are going to be. <coughs> on it. Well, and if he's so fast that you're going to have to run your best number to beat him, then yeah, that that's that doesn't make any sense at all to take a shot at him with a hurt motor because you're going to 
So obviously you're going to lose your money, and then you're going to lose everybody else's money <coughs> that may not even know that the motor's hurt, that they're going to yeah. be betting on yeah. you against him, and may, they don't even know the motor's hurt. So, yeah, it, that's a kind of a stand-up thing to do would be to, to, to not not go to the starting line with something like that, you know. But that's that's part of grudge racing that I wouldn't even think about or even no. understand, you know what I mean? No. Like it didn't used to be that way. I mean, all this steps and time and I understand there has to be steps in grudge race. Yeah, there's got to be some. But it's gone to such an extreme. I mean, if we're racing somebody and we're set to run at 9 o'clock and they come over and say, hey, we broke this, we're not going to make it to the team. We don't make them pay punk out. Yeah. You know, we just, okay, cool, we'll wait. But, you know, there by 10, we want we want some money or we want to race one or the other. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I It used I to be understand. a gentleman's game, and it's not. It's got into a con man's game. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, we yeah. got our payback though, because the same thing happened to them at the next race. We were supposed to race Shadow, and he couldn't get his car to the lane by nine. He needed to be nine thirty. We're like, nope. Twenty-two, Pace. twenty-two minutes late, we made him pay. Uh, hell yeah, yeah. no way. Loaded yeah. our car up and left. <laughs> no. It was at Gene's track, and if it wouldn't have been for Gene or Phil Shooter, that race would have happened. We'd have waited for Jeff. But so they took kidding. it on their own to trash us on the. Internet and call out scared. I didn't even know that. I heard that. We were set to run high. We were there to run. He was there to run him, and he decided to race uh, Black Nasty right before it and broke. And he actually, uh, he I was mean, he get test hit. He yeah. made and he changed his transmission, rear end, everything. Got the car. Then a reasonable went, but he didn't make the nine o'clock. And they're all one crew. That's KTR. Stuck out our hands. Nope. Pay us, and then we loaded up. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. Because also, so, the owner of the track trying to buy him time. He ran out and started prepping the track all the way until Jeff got his car fixed. And, <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. I wasn't he wasn't in the lanes. So, but, of course, and then we got blamed being scared. And I can tell you this, we ain't never been scared of nobody. Yeah. Well, I, for one, really wanted to see uh, you outrun Shadow. So We did, too. He does, too. And I still do. <laughs> I still do. You know, the no prep is going to be so big this year. It's really, I found out last year, it takes a lot of our time. I mean, you got to remember, we work for a living. We don't have time to do all this. So changing from a prep track to run with the fastest prep track cars in the world to running the fastest no prep track cars in the world for big money, you got to find out where you what you want to do. Sometimes you can't do can't both. Do both. It's That's a different combination. I need a, I need a lock-up converter to run with the the hides and the shadows and these chassis cars. Yeah. And of course, so, the, so he runs a lockup converter. Yeah. He's in the track. Well, I, I don't so, have one. So that's where I was. We're going to write all this shit down. We haven't had one, but we know we need one to outrun them. Yeah. And that's where I was headed next. So with with what you're doing and the way that you see this stuff going and the way, you, the, way that the grudge game is and, and kind of the way that you, the, the taste that's in your mouth from some of that stuff lately and then the way that this no prep thing is going, you're gonna have to, like you said, that's what I was, that's what I was fixing to hit on, is you're gonna have to make a decision here because you, I don't see you being able to change the car around so many times and, and without fucking up, you know what I mean? At some point, you're gonna be changing the car back and forth and you're gonna make a mistake or you're gonna miss something mm -hmm. and you're gonna, you're gonna lose in one side or the other or you're not gonna be very good at either one of them. Yeah. So at some that, point- That's how we lost one of the no prep races. You know, switch, swap back and forth, and converter was messed up, and we did something wrong, and sure enough, blew the tires off. And yeah. So that's what you said. So eventually, you're going to have to probably, I mean, you're going to have to shoot for for something here. Uh, and and it kind of seems like from the way you're talking and the way you guys are smiling and stuff. I mean, I'm I'm thinking that you guys are uh, you guys are no prep right now. I'm oh, thinking yeah. they're at home and no prep. Oh, yeah. I mean, you look good out there. There's somebody it? in this room we want to outrun. You want to outrun Sean? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can promise you that uh, that the, the race between uh, my new car and your new car will be one of the most epic no prep battles ever. Because uh, you know, I won the last big no prep that I was in. You've won, obviously, all, most of the all the ones that you've been in. And uh, uh, in my opinion. I know that these guys are fast, and I know that these guys are, are hard to beat, but in my opinion right now, uh, there's only one car in the no prep game that, that I'm even, that I would even be worried about with my old car, much less my new car, and that's, that's, that's especially your new car, you know what I mean? So just when I think I got a, I got an upper hand on you, and I think, well, my new car may have ran with him, 
you know, and then buy my new car, you're going to run him smooth over. Well, then you show up with a new fucking car, too. So now it's like, this deal is going to, it's going to be a big deal when we race. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, going to be epic. Yeah, I'm going to need to hire somebody to count all your money. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I mean, that, it's going to be a good thing. Before you I, give it to us? <laughs> <laughs> and I have a feeling that we're not going to end on just one. I have a feeling yeah. that this rivalry is going to go for a while. And... And uh, I, I look forward to being in the lane next year. I'd be honored to race you in general, but I look forward to being in the lane next to you for sure. And I hope that it's in the finals of a big money race somewhere where we can really let them, let's let them stretch their legs, where we've had a few hits on the track, we know where we're at, and this is for the, all the marbles type of thing, man, the storybook ending. If that happens, oh, man, I'm going to enjoy fucking you up. Well, it'll be an old goal for you for sure, because I guarantee you, if you got lucky enough to beat us in the final, uh, we're going to come by back. Oh, yeah, no, and the same we, thing. We are not the yeah. type to lay down or back. Uh, we're always going for everyone who says they're the fastest. That, and that's that's what I and everybody knows that's what we that's what I do that's my thing is I don't want to race guys I know I can beat I want to race the fast guys I want to race the Kai Kellys and the John Doe's and the Birdmans and the you know the big no prep guys and there's some new guys that are that are coming in the game that are bringing cars out that I saw at the Kennedale deal there's some new wild looking cars in in, in no prep you know what I mean there's some there's some uh, fast shit coming out so who knows where 2016 is going to take the no prep game but uh, I can bet you every dollar I got that uh, Birdman, the Crow Mod, Murder Nova, you know, those guys, that we're, we will be uh, a force to be reckoned with and, and we're going to be fighting for that top spot the whole way. You know what I mean? Like, it, I, I don't think it's going to be as one-sided as people think. People think, oh, Birdman's going to kill Chief. Chief can't fuck with Birdman. Chief can't fuck. When I when I get done playing with these little bitty radial tires in February at Georgia, that's I'm gonna concentrate on on finding you. I'm gonna I'm gonna hunt you down the way you hunt me down. <laughs> we're gonna get it on. Yeah. Also, he's, yeah. I know. Yeah, he's, just, so we, calm over there. We know it. we're not the fastest in the country. Yes, we are. But we yeah, are, but, but we ain't found that guy yet. <laughs> okay. I'm up here looking for him. Hey, we still ain't found him. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We're gonna we're gonna have to do this. I think y'all may have found him. I think I think we, you're gonna you're gonna find him for sure now. <laughs> that is if they don't uh, outlaw pro mods and turbos at all these races. <laughs> yeah, I they love did. it. How they, they did. They, did. they, they outlawed us. At, at matter of fact, they outlawed us at Redemption. We had to skip one. Uh, oh they, yeah, they did. The, well, the the last big no prep down there in Texas, they said yeah. no twin turbos or whatever, right? Yeah. And then this one, they this said at first this one they said no, no, uh, no pro mods. Yeah, and. And I was told that, you know, because I was thrashing to get my car together, and I, if I could have got it together, I would have made that race. And they said, no pro mods. And I said, I said, what do you mean? They said, well, you can't bring your car. And uh, thankfully, uh, Shannon that runs the event down there and the track down there, thankfully, she's uh, cool-headed enough when she runs this race that she actually looks at the facts, you know. And so she told me, she said, you know, I'm sorry, if you're a pro mod, we're not going to let you in. These guys don't want to race pro mods. And I said, well, hang on. Ty Kelly's racing. You let Kai Kelly in? I mean, you know, she said, well, he says he has a super gas car or, or a top sportsman car. I said, well, well, there's videos and pictures and, it, you know, of everything else him claiming he has a pro it's on the back so, of his T-shirts. You know, he has a fiber body. He's got a tube chassis. I got a fiber body. I got a tube chassis. We both got big ass fucking tires. Like, like what makes mine any more of a pro mod than his other than mine's lighter and faster than his? You know what I mean? Like, and, and, and thankfully, Kai Kelly and, and, the, those guys had the balls to say, hey, let them in, let everybody in. Right. They, Kai Kelly, he's not scared. He wants to race the fast guys, too. He does. So, he does. so thankfully, Shannon saw that that class is so full of hard asses that they're, they're not going to give a shit about how many bars you got in your car. Y'all want to race. You know? I don't care what kind of car you have. I'm going to look at it, and if I think I can outrun it, we're going to race. I don't Fucking right. what you show up with. But that's exact same. Preferably have doors on it. Yeah. 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 Well, I did get somebody. That's negotiable. Yeah. I, did, I did get somebody hit me on Facebook earlier and asked if we'd race a motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we, we get those a lot. I don't, I don't race motorcycles anymore because, you know, we did, we had a bad accident here in Oklahoma a long time ago with a, uh, we used to race bikes with cars all the time. And uh, when that happened, we realized really quick that the, the, the bike, that guy doesn't have the same chance of living through the accident that you do. You know what I mean? And and if you if something happens and you hit another car, if you crash into another car while you're racing, if I crash into you or, or somebody crashes into you while you're racing on the street, 
no one is is at fault there other than we just hit each other or some guy hit you but if you run over a guy on a motorcycle and kill him you know that's that's manslaughter yeah, you you done. run over a guy you yeah, kill the I, guy i don't want to race a guy on the bike that's so, so we, we quit doing that a long time ago but i have had people hit me up about wanting to bring a rail dragster to the no press and, I, and it cracks me up because in my opinion you have to be an idiot because if anybody races before you you're going to be sitting in their puddle yeah, that long motherfucker, you know what I mean? You're going to be right back there. <laughs> well, not to mention, even as the even as the race goes on and the starting line gets better, not for him. Yeah, he's still behind he's the starting still, line. He's, he's still, still behind the starting the, line. The and he's so, he's so narrow, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's a few cars that he'll be in their tracks, but I don't think he'd have any rail cars at once. Wow, that, that would be sketchy as hell yeah. on the big end in a rail car. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, so well, we were going to put a length limit on him, so that way you keep him out until he showed up. Yeah, he showed up his new car. <laughs> 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 I bet you a lot. I think I can see it from here. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck it is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you got nowhere to talk with that fucking elephant nose on that black car. That thing's just as long as mine. That fucking nose is forty foot long on your new car. Yeah, about four inches lower. So the front yeah. of that car is low. It is the low. Holy crap! It's you got to pull the nose off to get it in the trailer. Yep. Oh yeah. yeah. How's it on the return road? Oh, I, yeah. You didn't see the video? Yeah, it was dirt flying over the loop. <laughs> like a snow yeah. Yeah. Uh So we kind of know where you're, where you're, what you're headed for in 2016, and uh, and and you're you're in the snow prep thing, and and this is a uh, this is a big part of what you're doing now. So we can expect to see you at a, at, at the big at the big no preps, and and if these promoters want to get uh, guys and you know get get fans in the stands and they want to they want to pack the house you're you know you're one of the guys they need to be they need to be getting to their race you know what I mean they need to get bird the bird man uh, that whole thing right now is so huge that I mean you're bringing the show you know what I mean your people want to see you race other big name no prep guys people want to see you knock off TV show guys people want to see you guys do well because you know you're, you're the little guy you're you're the you, well i mean i don't think not to is. us I mean, he's not to us, but, to, I mean, but to all those people yeah, who it's, it's been spun guy. around yeah. so much that yeah because that, he's not that, on they TV. look like the little guys well, yeah he's not on tv every week so that, so he you know people are, are starting to to start rooting for him as more of the underdog yeah god damn he's he ain't the fucking underdog. no you know <laughs> we even race him we're stupid you know yeah so uh but you're you're figuring out and judging by the videos you're really figuring out that the the sixty foot thing on that turbo car because that thing looks like it's uh it's, it left good it looks like it's it's right there with just about anything out there sixty foot wise you know you're you got that part going for you for sure so that's gonna be it's gonna be fun to, for me when I sixty foot on that ass for sure <laughs> uh, and <laughs> you not even crank it up yet <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay what do they so call this a meth lab <laughs> 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 uh, I got a question. The 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 big controversy with you at the Armageddon No Prep, you know, the one that I won the twenty grand. At, um, that one. Uh, it's just because y'all wouldn't let us run. In the hey, it wasn't y'all, my uh, I'd have run you. Well, it wasn't me. It was we were not invited. Yeah, it wasn't me. I'd have run your ass. Uh, in that race, when you when you had to race uh, the Silver Nova that they call your mom, when you race that car, and uh, I've seen some funny videos and some funny pictures of that. When that when that went down there, like doing the gross thing, you have to have dealt with all this before. You've dealt with starting line games, you've dealt with head games, you've dealt with all that before. So, how do you cope with? Actually, I haven't. Really, you haven't had to. Well, the only way I've ever had to deal with someone burning me down on the line is to tell the, whoever I'm racing that it is a stip that we have to do auto start. I won't race without the it. Grudge race. I'm going to grudge that. race without it. Auto start. So that's auto where start, seven, seven seconds. seconds. Seven seconds. If you I'm don't not go getting in, burned down. If you don't turn on your second bolt by seven seconds, then they, then they lose, right? right? Okay, so that's so the, in the grudge game, you can stiff that, and then you don't have a problem. Right. But in the no prep deal, there's no tree. This guy was flagging. Some of the no preps use a tree. Some of them use a flagger. So right. this guy's flagging the race, and, and he has to pretty much decide when the two cars need to be up to the line. And, uh, you know, watching the video, I mean, he, the other guy was just, I mean, he was really taking his time there while you were on the break. Yeah. And, then, and then, I mean, eventually the, the flagger, 
noticed what was going down and he went ahead and turned the light on anyway even though the other guy wasn't the starting line so he kind of you know red lighted the guy I guess essentially but right. like how do you deal with games like that in the no prep thing with a turbo car I mean what can you what do you do there I mean you just chalk it up as fuck him and go on or do you decide that you're gonna change it next time or what do you do there I don't, I don't know that there's anything you can do I mean uh, make sure that the promoters and the starters know you know the situation which they do you know they yeah they learn from that experience I think everybody learned because no one had really seen that at a no prep before no, no one had really seen that where where someone was actually trying to it was it was excessive yeah I mean you got a data logger I mean, how long were we on the break for I don't it was a long 15 time. seconds? Like, oh, no, it was no. like 19 minutes. 19 seconds, yeah. I mean, that's, so, that's enough time to cook oh, a transmission. It, 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 it fried the converter. Yeah, that's enough time to tear up a lot of expensive parts. It was parts. black. Everything inside was black. So, <laughs> uh, so, I guess there's not really much we can do about that other than just in the driver's meeting. Everybody needs to be there to race. You know, I mean, we need to be there to race. There's, you know, if you're there to play games, then you don't really need to be there. You shouldn't be there. But if, but if everybody's there to race, you don't have that problem. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, sometimes you're gonna you're gonna fight that. But now, hopefully, everybody learned from that, and we yeah. can, you know. Well, luckily, man. there was no failure or anything. Yeah. You know? And the flagger yeah. plays a big part of that. It does. It does. You know, because so like the other drivers saying that the flagger stopped him and tried to bring him up again and. You know, a bunch of finger pointing went on in it, but the is just as important as the other guy. Right, yeah. and that's that's something that I try and tell people. Like when I flag these races on the street, you know, you can't let somebody tear up their car to play head games. You know what I mean? For head games, that's just because I we saw it years and years ago in St. Louis. Uh, we're street racing, and and that happened uh, on the starting line of a big race with Boosted GT where he was racing a big yeah. out of town car for a lot of money and the guy dicked around and kind of burned him down and, and uh, basically cooked Boosted's transmission in about four, it's a good thing he smoked the tires because about 400 foot Boosted's tranny came apart and uh, he crashed the car, you know what I mean? He went off road, spun the car around, hit the curb and everything else and would have hit the guy if they were anywhere close to each other you know and, and it could have been way 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 worse so it's just you know as a flagger you know you can't let that stuff go down and and uh but it's sh- god damn it made for some funny fucking video the next week hey it, it was did, funny. There it was some did. Funny the video shit. did yeah. you see the speed society oh, video yeah. Yeah. That was yeah, hilarious. That was, it, it, was, it was pretty <laughs> damn funny. Everybody's <laughs> calling me laughing. Go, man, I'm sorry to laugh, but this is so yeah. funny. Yeah. If, if you haven't <laughs> seen it, if you go to Speed Society's website, if you haven't seen it, and you search in the uh, burn down video, uh, yeah. the, how to stage with a turbo car, and and watch that video, and it's it, it was hilarious. funny. It, it's one of the funniest things ever. When I saw it, I was like, I hate to laugh. I know. Right. A, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially when we're turbo guys. <laughs> the nitrous guy burns you down. Right. We're kind of we're all yeah. supposed to be like, man, fuck that guy, you know. But <laughs> hey, we were laughing our asses off. Yeah, it, it was, was a fun funny. Idiot. It was. Uh, what's the next? Um, what's the next? The next step for the new car? Uh, paint job? Wrap? What are we gonna do? Is it gonna stay flat black? I mean, because everybody's asking. Everybody wants it's to know. It's not staying flat black. It's not. We're still fighting. It's gonna be white, huh? <laughs> I, I, would, I vote white with a carbon fiber no. stripe. That's what I would vote. We know we were too fast. <laughs> 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 like, that'll make your car slow. <laughs> so, uh, actually, we made a post and asked people what they thought, and we're overwhelmingly getting. Much as we hate it, they want the car. They want the car flames. flames. Yeah, I've seen. Yep, just like your other one, man. You know, ain't it just like the other one? I don't know what we're leaving. We want to go. You can't have a race car. Sorry to all these people out there, but man, it's either got to be black or white. (laughs) Right. It's a race car. Got to have flames. Black or white. Or flames. Yeah. I don't know. I did pretty good with a red one and a green one. Yeah. Hey, and I've heard green ones are bad luck. I heard it's bad luck to have a green race car. See, I told you that. Dude. That's what they said. <laughs> I, I heard that's that. what they said, that's and I painted mine green, and we kicked a lot of ass. That's, that's great. Good. Well, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's better to be good than lucky, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so maybe see, we may see the new car with flames. Maybe. Maybe. I think right. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in for the flames. I think it's cool. That Actually, it would have been just like this week, them. but as soon as we got it back, he pulled all the struts off. It's getting redone. Really <laughs> so I can't move the car to the <laughs> well, just pull it's the only off thing of we it. don't do in the house. You can just pull the body off of it and, and yeah. have it painted. Leave I think the car there. I think it's a cool funny car it. body. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, can't. I probably go back. It's not a fucking <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, we're going to have to market it down. We're going to have to rip some steel stuff on my yeah, car. Yeah, <laughs> at least some shavings so that we can stick a magnet to it. Uh, okay, so it's possible we could see the new car with flames. We're definitely going to see it as a no prep races and we're <coughs> And uh, hopefully everybody gets to see me whip its ass at some point, or I mean, race it. We're gonna be racing at some Definitely point. Definitely gonna see. Yeah, <laughs> beat. yeah, we're we're fans somewhere. of y'all's, but when y'all's in that other lane, oh, yeah. it all stops there. Yeah, it's gonna be a, uh, it's gonna be a, a fun time, and, and it's gonna be a pleasure for me just to line up next to you guys. So for sure. I can't, I can't wait. It, you guys are true class acts in the no prep game. There's not many of them. You guys are one of them. It's it's really cool. You'll race anybody. You don't care about the rules. You don't care what they got. You don't care how they sit. You just want to race, and you want to find out who the baddest is. And that's where that's what I'm going to show you when I show up. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you do, uh, it won't last yeah. long. We'll yeah. come back. Be careful what you wish for. Y'all, y'all <laughs> yeah. was looking we for the still I think you're going to be the one searching for more. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Uh, where do we? Where do people keep up with you uh, when the fans want to find out where you're headed, what races you're going to? How do they keep up with you? Your your Facebook page. What is your Facebook page? Birdman Racing. Birdman Racing. That's a Facebook page. Go there. Gonna, and yeah, go there. Give like them it. a like. Share their page. Let everybody know. You know this guy is 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 putting an all out assault on the no prep game. He's scared of no one, and he's out there doing it. And he's he's showing. And you never fucking know when this dude's gonna show up at your no prep and and take everybody's money. So uh, go check him out. Birdman Racing Facebook page. Also, as usual. Uh, Murder Nova Facebook, the Chroma, or the, sorry, the Midwest Street Cars Facebook. Yeah, we don't even have a Chroma yeah. on Facebook. You know, yeah, the, the Chief and Sean Show. The Cro yeah, the Chief and Sean Show. That's where we'll look at the questions every week. Uh, th this week we had, we kind of, uh, we raped the, the questions from the fans because we had so many questions. I think we answered a lot of them, though. That we didn't really need to ask anybody else's. We, we had so many questions on our own. So, yeah. uh, but... Everybody, go like the pages. You know, if you see these guys at a track, by all means, buy a shirt from them. Keep these guys racing. Like, this is we need more of these guys out there, and and they are, you know, right now a force to be reckoned with for sure. Yes. If you're in the no prep game, you you don't want to draw Birdman. That's that's where we're at right now for sure. <laughs> Not until so, the finals. <laughs> right. Um, Georgia, February, come check me in. Me and Sean are going to be there on the little bitty radio tires. You ever thought about doing the radio stuff, Birdman? We have. Yeah? We, we actually right. bought it. We got it set up. <laughs> <laughs> I had to shop. We right. try. I'll see how you do. No, you we come out and the baddest on radio. <laughs> 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 well, you know, me and the Shadow and Hyde, all them guys, are, they're all going to be in Georgia on them, yeah. little bitty, them little girly tires in Radio vs. World, you know. I'm just saying, if you ain't got nothing going on in February, you know, bring that car out there. Yeah, we got time to test. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. I didn't get much of a response. Out of it. I don't think that. I don't think they're gonna show. No. Up. I think that, <laughs> they already got the tires. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. You never fucking know. That's that's what I like about them. All right, guys, it was a pleasure having you in here for sure. Um, top ten. Oh, yeah. We do have Look a top that. ten list for these guys. Mm. Just like on the show. Just like. Back in the day on Joe Golden, on Hot Rock Gossip, he had a top ten list. We have a top ten list. And we're going to ask you our top ten list right now. Uh, I think we're going to. How are we going to do this since there's two of them? I don't know. Just Gary. Just like Gary. Just you? All right. Just the, yeah, bird, just, just the original Birdman here. This is for you. Uh, carbureted or fuel injected? What, what do you prefer? Fuel injected. All right. There we go. Uh, farm truck or Asian? Big tire or small tire? What do you prefer? Big. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, grudge race or no prep? What's the final answer? No prep. Nah, there you go. There you go. Sorry, Grudge Racers. You heard it here first. You've lost the Birdman. He is yeah. full on no prepping now. Uh, fiberglass or carbon fiber? Carbon fiber. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it would have been steel and fiberglass. I got to change my answer. Steel and fiberglass. Uh, I think we know this one. Nitrous or turbo? Watch you say both. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you that's, that's a secret. Oh yeah, that's a secret. There we that's go. Okay. Turbo. All right. Uh, shaved or hairy? <laughs> <laughs>
He's a bro, my guy. Yep. <laughs> All right, uh, Doc or Monza? <laughs> Monza. <laughs> <laughs> why, why? I gotta know why Monza. <laughs> I think it's the mustache. <laughs> Is it the mustache? Why not Doc? Doc's a creep. That's why. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know either one. Of them. Okay, well we'll leave it at that. We'll, we'll introduce that. you to him today. All right, now we know you've dabbled in it a little bit, and we know you've done a little bit of it, and we know that there's more of it in your future. But if you had to pick right now, street or track? I like them both. Yeah, he likes them both. Actually, that'd be a question. For Jamie, well, street he or has track? To shoe it, track? I'll leave it up track? To him. track. All right, I'll track. Right on. He's a driver. <laughs> yeah. I've never but, seen him in a race that he don't feel safe. In. That's good. I don't that's feel awesome. like he that's awesome. isn't gonna not feel safe. He uh, doesn't seem like he cares. Yeah, let him, that's one well, that's thing. Cool. And it's not safe. I'm worried about, about it. It's, it's tearing the car up. No, that's what you I'm definitely tear the car yeah. up with the street. No yeah. doubt about it. Even just even just testing, even just unloading it and loading it on the street, tear it up. So, yeah. guys, I can't thank you enough for coming all yeah. the way up here to be on this fucking, fucking ridiculous amazing. radio show and our tens of listeners. Uh, are going to support you because that that we got a real good group of people that listen to this podcast yes. radio show and so uh, good luck to you uh, I'm I'm really happy you guys are in the no prep game I'm happy that we we've got you guys around this is going to be a fucking great year and uh, we're going to battle it out like crazy so I look forward to seeing you guys around and awesome. uh, go go hit their Facebook page up Birdman Racing hit them up shoot them a like buy a T-shirt whatever you can do to support these guys these guys are racers these these they're, they're, legit. they're the legit deal so thank you guys very much thank sean appreciate us, it guys. let's go get some of these yeah for sure we're out right. you guys take care all right I